Good evening, everybody. I am the Nebogram, and I'd like to welcome you to episode something of my YouTube Let's Play series. Um, I'm going to go in a slightly different direction for this, um, well, what was it, half week's episode. Uh, I'm going to go for a current generation game instead of my usual retro perspective. Um, it's made by a company very famous for making retro games, though. And also very famous for having an enthusiasm for livestock. You may have guessed it what it is by now. It's the game that's been hailed by some as the absolute worst game on Xbox Live Arcade. And by intelligent people as an absolute arcade classic. I'm playing the Steam version, so without further ado, let's dive right in. Bah! Yep, that is the Llamasoft logo, and it's given us warning that the experience may be psychedelic. We're playing Space Giraffe, folks. And what you're hearing in the background is a creepy girl reciting numbers in Welsh. And what you're viewing is, I assume, the Space Giraffe itself. Jeff Minter is a weird dude. I'm going to go ahead and say that right now. It should be blindingly obvious to anybody who just loads up this level. On the Xbox 360 version, this has actually got a picture of Jay Allard in the background from Microsoft. But for some reason, he's absent from the PC version. Um, oh no, there he is. There he is. Sorry. I did, I did, a, I did a quick playthrough of this beforehand. Just to familiarise myself with the controls, and I can't see him. Like, How crap am I? Okay, so here we are. We're playing the Space Giraffe here, and you may think we're playing Tempest. People who dismiss Space Giraffe as just being Tempest are probably the same people who dismiss Rayman Origins as just being Mario. They're completely missing the point. Yes, it looks like Tempest, but it isn't Tempest. For starters... The sound effects are completely different, and as you can see there, so is the gameplay. Normally on Tempest, you shoot things before they reach the edge of the web. Here, you want them to reach the edge of the web, so that you can knock them off in what's called a bull. Like that. And then the uh, level ends, and you get giraffe. Tastic. And you can just jump back. And why not? I'll go a bit more into the controls once I find out how, how I do here. Did, did I just see Super Smashing Great? Yeah, Jet. Llamasoft do like having. Um, what, what, what's the word of it? Tributes to uh, old classic video games. In in their um in, in their games. You forgive me if I'm having difficulty concentrating. You have a guess why that might be. Right, so I'll, I'll go a bit more into the shooting mechanics now. The gi giraffe shoots three streams of bullets. Or at least it does whilst the um power zone is active. I'll go into the power zone in a bit. Right, you can one set of bullets, they all shoot automatically, one set shoots forward, and the other ones you can control um, with keyboard or with the right hand log stick on the Xbox 360 version, and they sort of direct from side to side. Um, yeah, sometimes the enemies uh, shoot as well, uh, we'll get into that in a bit, uh, but every time you shoot an enemy, or collect a pod, or use a pod, the power zone fills up. And you can see it on the bottom there as the uh, push, bull attack, okay. Um, if the power zone has anything in it, that means you can do a bull attack. And if you bull enough, if you bull enough um, enemies at the same time, you get a typical Llama Soft um, sound effect. Uh, you can also see the um, grid itself. There's sort of a line that's retreating towards us. That's that is the power zone, basically. And if it, if it, if you have anything in the power zone, you can do a bull attack. If the power zone runs out, which you'll see at the bottom there, that means the bull attack you can't do it. And if you attempt it, then you're in serious danger of losing a life. 
Uh, you can see a live counter at the top there, next to the what is sort of a peace symbol without the circle. Um, so as you can see, I've got three lives there. If I lose all of them, game over. That should be a game um, mechanic most people are familiar with. And at the top right there, the M is the multiplier, the score multiplier. Apologies if this is a bit slow incidentally, I could only get 24 frames a second doing this on Steam and running craps at the same time. Oh yeah, and after every level, uh, you can leave the level and then come back to it at any time, and you keep your um, the score that you uh, had. It's, it's, it's a very, very nice mechanic, because there are 100 levels to this. We're only covering 5 today, um, but there are 100 levels of this, and doing all of them in one go really is a pain in the arse. It's the only achievement on the Xbox 360 version I haven't got yet. So, um, we'll go into this. Uh, as you see, already I've lost my power zone, but I've got it back. And as you can see, the enemies are shooting at me. When you can hear what sounds like a telephone being dialed, that's another classic Llama Soft sound effect. That means you've actually shot the bullet back. Um, however, do be warned, because... Yep, yeah, go on the button, run, no, no. Yes. Moo, indeed. Yeah, you can shoot the bullets back, um, but eventually they will bounce off the back wall and start heading back towards you. Another achievement on the Xbox 360 version is to keep as many bullets, I think it's something like 20, in play at the same time. No cow, that's disappointing. And if every time you um, if, if a bullet is in play, an enemy bullet is in play at the end of the level, it makes the giraffe sneeze and you get additional bonus points there. Honestly, it makes perfect sense. Oh! There. That was me attempting a bull run, but I didn't actually have anything in the power zone, so I would have died there, but you get, at the start of every level, a sheepy zapper. No, really. And that sort of acts like a smart bomb. You can use it once a level, smack the key or the button in the Xbox 360 version. There's the giraffe sneezing, as I promised. But yeah, if you activate the sheepy zapper, it's a smart bomb. It'll take out all the enemies on the web and allow you to do a bull run. Sorry about that. I just, I just, I just like jumping back as I'm going forward. It's something I do on the Xbox 360 version and it doesn't get you any bonus whatsoever. It's just there, kind of. Right, so in, in the past two levels I was meh and average, so that's how I am now. Meh again, fantastic. Okay, Pod diligence note. Okay, the bonus is there. Giraffe preservation, that's obviously the amount of lives that you have at the end of the level. Pod diligence is collecting the pod, collecting all the pods that come towards you. Uh, they should be self apparent from what I've been doing so far. And early giraffe, I can only assume is what I'm doing here. Try to hit as many enemies as possible before I uh, land on the web. Or it may have something to do with those lights that I travelled through, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, um... I can't help but feel that this level was named something different in the beta. Uh, Llamasop, Jeff in particular, as I said, he's a weird dude. And he has a really interesting way of keeping... Um, of keeping beta screenshots out of publication magazines. It's by riddling them with as much swearing as he humanly can. So you have um, various... Uh... Well, normally there, sometimes it would say Moo. Uh, but in the beta version, to keep out of publication magazines, what it would say instead is stuff like Bull Population Paste, Donkey Minge, and Cunt, Cunt, Cunt. So, then again, that's the least weird thing about most Llama Soft games. One thing that I do have to give credit for though, and this, this is always the case with uh, Llama Soft games, the soundtrack is bloody awesome. And, and it, it always has been to be fair, right back when you get back to, or all the way to attacking the mutant camels on the Commodore 64. 
You have to admit, it is it is a brave it is a brave thing to um, combine high high paced arcade shooting with all this yiffing. But uh, as you can see there, the bull bullets are bouncing back towards me. I've kept a lot of them in play. Need to activate the pod now. And if you get the multiplier past nine, I've got it up to nine there, which is its max. If you get it past nine, you get a extra life for every addition. Well, and you only get you only get one per level, uh, but that's it. Instead of bumping it up to a multiplier of ten, you get extra lives for collecting additional pods as well, as well as um, increased speed on the bullets. And if you collect enough in uh, consecutive levels, oh, let's see how I've got here. I'm good. High praise. Uh, if you get enough pods um, in, I think it's three consecutive levels, you activate a bonus round. Which is sort of like a chill out version. Um, let's be honest, <laughs> if you play this game for long enough, you need it. Also, Res style. Um, I assume you've played Res. If you haven't, let me know. I'll uh, I'll do a let's play of that. Um, Res style. The uh, giraffe also sort of increases in resolution until it start actu starts actually looking like a giraffe. Uh, what the hell has happened to the giraffe's tail there? Okay. Additional enemies do crop up as well. You see we've got sort of slightly different versions of flippers here. They're, they're more aggressive than before, they're actively heading towards me. Um, which is rather a daft idea when the power zone is active, but it doesn't make it does make it difficult to bull get a good bullying run in. Because of course they're kamikaze me futilely, but that's fewer of them that I can kamikaze later successfully. It looks it looks like a psychedelic nightmare, but this game really does have a lot of subtle nuances to it. Uh, come on, get the pods and go! I love the sound of bolts moving in the morning. That's not something I ever thought I would have to say. But really, this game is it's on Steam. It's cheap. It's 400 points on Xbox Live Arcade, and recently, if, if you like this game as well, check out the Minosaur Project on um, iPhone and iPad um, for several additional games uh, which combine um, high-paced arcade action with um, a slightly inappropriate love of livestock. Yes! I had to use a smart bomb there and I've immediately ran out of uh, bullet attack as well. And you can see now I've unlocked an achievement down there. You can barely see it in the psychedelic graph. It's called Klepto Giraffe. Um, if I recall rightly, that one's for collecting um, a certain number of consecutive pods without missing one. So that, that should actually improve my pod diligence bonus at the end of this level. So get them now. As I said, if you collect um, enough pods, you start getting bonuses like the one up there. Uh, the next one I think will be uh, fast bullets, and the one after that would be um, a key to unlock the uh, bonus round. Yes! Uh, and of course, if you collect a pod, uh, as you're heading down the web to finish the level, you get the yes, 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 yes bonus. Sort of sounding like a cross between Meg Ryan and Daniel Bryan. Hey, that rhymes. Uh, anyway, uh, right, that's the first five levels. As I said, there's a hundred of them, and there's no way in hell I'm going to sit through and do them all in one sitting. For starters, the Fraps file would crash my computer. I am super giraffe tastic. I never thought I'd ever say that either. So, uh, that's Space Giraffe. It's about uh, the biggest mindfuck on Steam, or, or, or indeed Xbox Live Arcade. If you like it, um, check it out. As I said, it's very cheap, it's very fun as well, and it's about the most fun you can have with livestock uh, without being entirely inappropriate. Uh, thank you for watching, I'll see you again midweek.